Welcome to our training school on uh, pet spec, a little bit of MR and also some total body pets. Um, so I'll, I'll start off with just introducing the school really and, and sort of giving you an idea of uh, what we're going to try and do. Uh, and then we'll have a brief demo of the, of the software platform as well. So, okay, there we go. Uh, try to anyway, so. How do I hide this panel again? Uh, okay, so the aim of, uh, of today is to, uh, for you obviously, to, to get a little bit of understanding of the physics behind it, although we are not going to concentrate too much on that. To remove the panel, it's at the same time. Uh, oh, on that one, obviously, ah, yes, okay. yes, 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 and, and this one maybe as well. Okay, <laughs> all very confusing. Um, so we, we don't really go into a lot of detail on the physics uh, for, for a few reasons. Uh, one, you probably know it better than us, and the other reason is that uh, there is no time for it. So. Uh, we've given you uh, a few links with more detailed presentations uh, that you can always go. And what I'm sort of hoping that during the day you ask questions on stuff that you want to know. Uh, uh, it's That's why we have a live meeting. It's quite different from an online one, obviously. So uh, do ask questions uh, as much as possible. Um, but we'll we'll try and give you some some of the basics and go through it and and see how that connects up with the software uh, if if the software works. Uh, good. So uh, the main thing really is in the afternoon to get some hands-on experience with the with our software. It certainly teaches you the software, but more importantly, I think it teaches you how to how to solve a, a particular problem that we can select. Um, so the software that we use is uh, called the Synergistic Image Reconstruction Framework, which I'll give you a little bit of information on. And uh, some of the projects also use the uh, core imaging library. So uh, you'll, you'll hear a bit more from that. So that, that will allow you to build your own reconstruction algorithm if you choose that particular project or do some deep learning with it all um, and so on. So uh, maybe, uh, we've given you the list of projects before. Unfortunately, uh, due to a, a last minute bug, the Total Body Pet project cannot go through. Uh, the, we, we had the problems in the reconstructions and so therefore the, the images uh, don't look uh, as they should be. So um, unfortunately, you'll have to come back next year, I suppose. <laughs> Um, it, it will be fixed in the next two weeks or something. So hopefully this, um, uh, this workshop will have give you, you the experience and then try it yourself at home yes. uh, and, and uh, feel free to ask us questions and afterwards. Uh, we are going to use Python and Jupyter Notebook uh, and, and HackMD, which you have the link for. I don't have it ready over here, but there's a lot of information on there. So it should be in one of your emails. Uh, do check. Uh, it, uh, HackMD gives us a page that we can update as we speak. So if there are common questions, we can always uh, put information on there. So keep track of it. If you have a question, obviously raise your hand, but maybe first have a look at, at the HackMD website if there is uh, any, any information on there. Some of it is, uh, has been entered about 15 minutes ago. So. Uh, okay, so, so that's one aim. And the other aim is to sort of you know, come together and do that in various ways. Uh, so we, we are working uh, as a community ourselves on open source software to, to work, but also we want to share our knowledge and experience and we hope that you guys want to do the same thing. So uh, that, and, and that's quite nice to be able to do that together. So in particular, the project work will not be you sitting on your computer on your own trying to solve a problem that's entirely boring and you could just as well do at home. So the idea is to go and sit together, 
maybe we shift the tables around if we're allowed and you, you work in a group of four or five people uh, together and then we float around and we if you have a if you have a question you ask it. yeah so do work together otherwise uh, why did we come to Elba anyway certainly not for the pool um, okay so uh, yeah I guess I've sort of said that um, the morning will be uh, more lecture based and some demonstration of the software you have the pointers to the self-teaching material and then the afternoon will be the uh, hands-on project. Um, so we'll start now with um, some of the uh, software demonstration, I guess uh, we'll um, uh, then go into a PET inspect and MR. But before I do all of that, I need to tell you a little bit more about our network. So uh, this is the uh, synergistic image reconstruction framework. And core imaging libraries are outputs of two uh, CCPs. And that doesn't have anything to do with the Chinese Communist Party, but um, with collaborative computational projects, which is a certain uh, type of scheme funded by the, by the UK. That is uh, a networking plus software type of project. I think it's quite unique. I, I don't think it exists in, in Europe or so. So uh, we are we have two of those, um, and uh, they have two main out bits of output of software, and that's what we're using today. So our uh, our framework originally started on PetMR, so we've now added spec to it. Um, and the core imaging library concentrates on CT, but there are connectors between the two. So in, in some sense, you might not feel too much uh, when you switch from one to the other. Uh, so we, we try and, and give software that is uh, easy enough to use. So we can use it in a context like this, but you can also use for real data. Uh, and in, in principle, it should work for a total body pet as well. Um, a bit slow still, but nevertheless, uh, certainly doable for uh, real world uh, applications. And it is all open source. Um, and that means you can do anything you like with it. Uh, so we use the Apache 2 license. The, there is a, a caveat because the MR side at the moment uses FFTW, which is uh, distributed under the GPL and therefore if you use the MR side in principle, you're also GPL, but all, all whatever we are is Apache too. That means we can do whatever we like with it properly. So it's a, it's a framework. So that means uh, there's not a lot of software in SURF itself because what it does, it relies on, on what we call engines to do the work. And uh, so we do, uh, we use STIR for uh, PET and reconstructions. Gadgetron for MR and for registration, we use Nifty Reg and there are a few others as well. Yeah, that would be handy, thank you. Like this, yes, no? Okay, yeah, good. Um, so, but what we then have is a layer of C++ on top of that. Um, and that C++ layer is then interfaced via Python and MATLAB. So we're only going to use the, the Python interface at the moment. And unfortunately, our MATLAB interface, uh, we, we don't maintain anymore um, from the next version onwards because we, we just don't have the time. And there is less and less interest in, in our community anyway in, in MATLAB. Um, so, uh, and then the core imaging library is mostly Python based and, and therefore interfaces via Python. Uh, so as I said, we've recently added uh, SPECT. The uh, official release is not, uh, is not out there, but it should be in two weeks or something, but you're going to use that uh, capability today. So here's, here are some example uh, pet reconstructions that we can do um, where it's, there's just a normal OSCM, but we can also use quadratic uh, priors and Bauscher and things like that. We can also do uh, motion compensation. We're not going to 
go into that today, but so here is an example where uh, there was a uh, non-Cartesian sampled acquisition that you can reconstruct has pretty bad, bad image quality, but then we can reconstruct via CIL using the prior. Then we can estimate the motion from there. And then you can re-reconstruct your data uh, on the MR side with motion uh, corrected uh, uh, or compensated image reconstruction. And you can then also put that on, onto the PET uh, information because it's acquired simultaneously. Again, we're not going to do that, but the, there are examples on it in, in all the software that you will uh, be able to use. Uh, so the core imaging library, uh, not going to go too much into that, but so uh, it, it sort of also tries to be as modular as possible and uh, concentrates first on system modeling for CT side, which we are not going to use, but then they have also a lot of uh, algorithms for optimization. And if you, if you do the um, synergistic uh, project with uh, Sam, then you will be using their, some of their software to uh, do TV optimization and so on. Uh, okay, so that's uh, an overview of the framework. I, from the attendance list, I gathered that most people are, are uh, more into the PET and SPECT sites and not many in the MR. So therefore we've weighted this course accordingly. Uh, we don't have a project on MR. The, the files are all there if you're interested. Uh, you, and there are a few people you could sit together and try and do those demos and we'd be very happy to help you with that. But uh, all, all the others are concentrating on PET and SPECT. And so the underlying engine is STIR, so therefore I thought I just need to give you a little bit of information there. So you won't be using STIR directly, but whatever you use in STIR will be calling STIR. Uh, so this is a, a quite old project, uh, also released uh, as open source, covers PET and SPECT at the moment. Uh, and uh, it also does a bit of dynamic imaging, which hasn't been exposed to uh, uh, sorry, to surf yet. Uh, so, because we we call sir, stir via surf, there are a few things that uh, might trip you up when you do the exercises. And in particular, one of the difficulties is that if you, uh, you, you need to start from somewhere, right? And the somewhere is normally acquired data. Uh, but in a lot of the demos, we don't really have measured data because then it will be too slow. So what we do is we, we have a, a template. And that template usually doesn't contain any real data. It just contains the scanner information and geometry and so on. And therefore, it's, as soon as if you try and read that data, it will say, no, I'm sorry, I can't. You can only read it, but not, not extract any data from it and then pass it on and that will be working fine. So if you see uh, if you see LSU in the code, usually it's called template, maybe not all the time. If you see that, you know it's an empty file essentially. So uh, that's just one caveat. Um, and if you pass a template like that, even if there is some data in there in some sense, it will be ignored aside from the judge. STIR has a limitation on, uh, on the uh, voxel sizes in the axial direction, people often call Z. And therefore, if you give it an arbitrary image spacing, it will complain and you, you need to have it uh, fixed. And the, it, um, there is a way to construct an image for your specific scanner, which, which you will see. Um, so we obviously made sure that all of those images and, and uh, data that you have are compatible, but if you try and mix one image from another demo, then it, it might fail. That's just something to work, uh, be wary of in some sense. Uh, okay, and then the final thing maybe, and this is on the HackMD as well, is that uh, STIR was originally sort of designed to be run from, from the terminal and it will write lots of diagnostic information which you can't see if you're on, on Jupyter Hub. 
Uh, so you can redirect those two files and then you can look at the content if the files if something goes wrong. Hopefully you'll never have to look what's in there because there's uh, usually a lot of information. But if you're stuck, you can always go on. Okay, so in principle, if you, you want to try this at home, obviously, and then the, we have various ways to install the software, but today we are going to use the link that you have uh, being sent and uh, the, the software that you would be able to download via Docker or the virtual machine, whatever is all out of date, right? So don't, don't, don't try it. You could self-build it, but I, I don't recommend doing that today. Um, obviously, you, you can ask us questions how you do that stuff, but I, I certainly recommend you use the, the training platform. Uh, if you don't, if you haven't got that email or you don't know how to do it, uh, do shout later on and uh, we will uh, show you in a minute how to use this uh, in practice. Uh, there's a lot of people who helped uh, making today uh, possible. So for the training school organization, uh, I'll, I'll shout some names and then you can look around and people might, might wave. So uh, there is Andrew at the back there. He will give a presentation later. Uh, David is online on Zoom and Edo can, uh, is over there, right? Um, obviously, Nicola. Uh, helped a lot with uh, getting all the local organization up. Uh, for the projects, there's a, new, a number of people that are going to help. So Harry sits also at the back. Uh, Gemma. Uh, everybody sits at the back. There you go. Uh, Imraj is going to work with the deep learning, right? Um, Nicole. All right. And Sam. Yes, so they, they've taken the back row. Good. Uh, then, then there are actually a, a quite a lot of people who contributed to the code in general. So, you know, I, I wanted to uh, list them here. Uh, Nikos will uh, did a lot of work on the list mode reconstruction and will be online or might already be. Um, um, but he, he sits in Boston, so uh, yeah, middle of the night for him. Uh, okay, and then there's a lot of volunteers to get make all of this uh, possible and obviously we rely on a lot of open source projects as well. Good, so uh, a bit more detail on the schedule for this morning. Obviously, we, we are fairly uh, delayed by now, uh, so we'll have to see how it goes. But uh, we will have now a demonstration from Edo on how to get onto the platform and how to use Jupyter up if you haven't done it before. Uh, there are also some links in the documentation that we've sent, and then I'll give some uh, pet and spec image reconstruction if I can get my slides sorted. Uh, we'll have a coffee break, then Nikos will talk about total body pet, Christoph on MR, Andrew on deep learning, and then we'll have an overview of the projects. We'll have lunch during the very long lunch break you will all work and read the material on the projects as opposed to going to the sea and, uh, and then afterwards we'll do the project. All right. Good, any questions at this point? So I'd like, uh, you, you've maybe already noticed, I, I'd like to be this in, as informal as possible. Uh, uh, don't call me prof, for instance, call me Chris and ask questions to all our support people. They will not remain sitting at the back and ask questions to each other. Yes, it's, uh, it's nice to sit together, so let's, let's use that. Okay, no questions yet? Good, then.